Hi, my name is David Wilde. I'm the National Human and Technical Manager for Massey Harper Feeds, and I've been working closely with AHDB in delivering a series of lectures on developing the rumen for optimum calf health. During the meetings, we've been discussing the benefits of weaning the calves based on their starch or feed intake rather than age. The recommendation would be that for a high protein calf starter feed, say greater than 22% protein, that the calf should be consuming at least one kilogram for three consecutive days. Whereas for a lower protein feed, maybe two kilos a day for those three consecutive days. Hello, my name's Ali Haggerty and I'm a vet based in southwest of Scotland. My top tip for weaning calves is to consider how long you're carrying out the weaning process over. For example, if you're feeding a maximum of six litres of milk replacer, dropping that down by two litres to four litres, holding that for seven days before you do a further drop to two litres, holding that for another seven days and then dropping off. Why the holding period? Well, during weaning, you're asking the calf to take a chunk of energy away from the calf and you're asking them to go and get that energy from concentrates, which is obviously harder and drier to eat. So by holding it for a period of time, you're allowing a period of acclimatisation, which will minimise stress and maximise growth rates. Hello, my name's Ginny Sherwin. I'm from the University of Nottingham, and I've recently been involved in the AHDB Room and Development Campaign. My top tip for weaning is avoiding all stresses around weaning. These stresses could be management changes, such as group changes and housing changes, as well as procedures such as disbudding and castration. This is really important because they lower the immune system's ability to fight disease, especially against respiratory disease, and this can also reduce our growth rates. Therefore, all stresses should be avoided within the two-week period before and after weaning. I'm Tim Potter. Part of the meetings that we've been talking about has all been focused on rumen development, and one area that I focused on really was the importance of water. Don't overlook water as part of your calf management. We talk about driving feed intakes, but to do that, the calves need to be drinking water. For a calf to take a kilo of hard feed, it needs to be drinking four litres of water. So always ensure cal calves have access to water from birth, that it's clean, that it's fresh, and that ultimately, by doing that, you can help drive their intakes.